This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, Yetta here, and here are the latest stories that we're following for you from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Arizona Department of Health Services updating the business reopening status to moderate now. That means businesses are given an opportunity to reopen in a limited capacity. Mountainside Fitness did not wait for the benchmark update, reopening their clubs this morning. Employees and members, they do have to wear masks in the facility. They do have to have their temperatures checked at the door, and they do have to keep their social distance. Some gym members say they have been eagerly waiting for this day. I've gone to other gyms that have opened early. Uh, compared to Mountainside, I feel Mountainside does a lot more and has a lot more access as far as being clean. What it comes down to is to be safe and to make sure you're, you're following the restrictions that have been implied. And I don't feel like I'm at risk at all. I think I'm excited. I think they're, they're doing what they should be doing, and that's being safe. There is a section on the DHS website that gives businesses like bars and restaurants a form to fill out, attesting that they are complying to COVID-19 guidance. This form is going to be published on the DHS website, as well as posted in the reopen business section. The J.O. Combs Unified School District meets again to discuss a start date for in-person learning. They're also going to discuss the, late, the latest public health metrics as well. Thursday's board meeting starts at 6 o'clock tonight at the Combs Performing Arts Center. It is also going to be streamed online. A group of Phoenix firefighters are helping with search and rescue efforts in Louisiana after Hurricane Laura hit the area. They left Thursday morning, this morning, as part of the FEMA response. 45 members of the Arizona Task Force Team 1 and two rescue canines are going to help with search and water rescues. The team is going to stay in the Gulf for as long as they need to. Well, locally, our weather forecast looks pretty hot today. An excessive heat warning continues through Friday night. 113 for today with a slight chance of storms, a better chance of storms by Sunday and into early next week with a slight cool down as well. All right, April, thank you for updates on more stories that we're following for you. You can download our app. You can subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Yeti Gibson. Have a great day, everybody.